Over the years, some highly used open source libraries for plugins have appeared in the Xamarin Forms community as they come to fill a gap, something not directly supported by the Xamarin Forms core. We can mention some examples, such as effect match loading that allow with working with some image at just in size in order to improve the performance or applying transformations, or the case of uh, RG plugins pop-up adding support for custom pop-ups in Xamarin Forms. Today, we are going to put the focus on a new library called Mopaps. It's an evolution of RG plugins pop-up for .NET MAUI, and we are going to see all its possibilities. During many, many years, RG plugins pop-up has been one of the most used libraries in Xamarin Forms projects, including samples and, of course, applications, because it offers a easy way to create pop-ups in Xamarin Forms, something that was not supported in the Xamarin Forms core by default. Created by Kirill and supported by main, like the same functionality that was supported before in RG plugins pop-up, but also extending the experience and allowing new enhancement. The current supported platforms are Android, iOS, Windows, and macOS. That is the supported platforms by .NET MAUI. There are a really nice video by my teammate Giral so far. And now we are going to see how it works with a real sample. So here we have a .NET MAUI application running on Windows. And for example, if I press the open as wins pop-up, voila, we can see here a pop-up that of course can support all the .NET MAUI UI functionality like, for example, behavior, triggers, animations, etc. And there are a lot of possibilities to customize the pop-up appearance, the pop-up content, the pop-up animation when it's appearing or disappearing. And we, of course, have a programmatically way to open and close it. So next, we are going to learn a little bit more about this library, how it works, and how we can use it. The first key of this library is the pop-up page class. The pop-up page allows us to define a pop-up. So to open a pop-up page, we should create a new class, feature class or channel file, and extend it from the pop-up page class. This class allows us to customize many things, like for example, of course, the content and the animation with the animation property that we are going to use when we are opening or closing the uh, pop-up. There are also many events, like for example, detect when uh, we are clicking in the background and many other properties related with uh, the offset of the pop-up to set it in the correct position that we want, if we use animations or not, if we are going to close the pop-up directly when we are clicking in the background, etc., etc. So create a pop-up is something like this. We create a new file, in this case, a shaml file that will use the pop-up class. As we can see here, we can define directly the content of the pop-up, can see any element that stand from view, that is any .NET MAUI view, and that also includes any .NET MAUI layout. So we can create a composition of different views, etc., to put any content that we want in the pop-up. And then we can also customize, for example, the animation. We are going to talk about animations next, but the next thing, when we have a pop-up page, we need to know how we can open this pop-up. And to do that, we need the mop-up service. The mop-up service is the way in how we can access to different methods to open or close the pop-up. So using the mopup service dot instance, we get access to all these methods. For example, to open a pop-up is using the pulls async extension method. And going back to the animations topic, the plugins has the four animation that we can use in a very easy way. So we have fade animations, move animations, and different animations related with positioning and scaling useful when we are, for example, appearing or disappearing the pop-up. And uh, there are different options by default, like scaling, scale out, positioning, positioning out, but uh, use different animations in different states. With all these animations, all these default animations, we have uh, properties, different properties to manage the duration, the hissing, 
that we are going to use during the animation, etc. etc. Of course, we can also create our own class with our own specific animation in case we want to do something really, really custom. Going back to our sample, of course, we have Visual Studio open here with the sample. So let's see what's necessary to create everything that we are talking about. The first thing that we need to notice is that we need to use the configure mopups extension method to be able to use the mopups library. Once we have this library, we can create, for example, a mopup like this. So using the mopups dot page namespace, we can access to the pop-up page. The animations are available in the mopups.animation. So we create the pop-up page. We put the content that we want. In this case, it's a scroll view with a label and a button. And then we define the animation using the animation property. And in this case, we use the move animation with a couple of properties to define what's going to happen when the pop-up is appearing or disappearing. Once we have this pop-up, now we need a way to open it. So we have the rest of the page of the application here. This is, for example, the main page. And in the main page, when we are tapping to open, when we are tapping the button to open the pop-up, we can access to the mop-up service where we have all the different extension methods to be able to, for example, pop a sync to close the pop-up, follow a sync to close all the open pop-ups in case we have several pop-ups. We have the pop-up stack with all the stack of open pop-ups, pulse a sync, of course, to open one that we have seen before, etc., etc. In this case, we use the pulse a sync method to open the pop-up that we want to open. We have also different events using this service like pushing, push it, popping, or pop it to detect when the pop-up is uh, being opened or closed, etc. And basically this is mop-up. It's a port from RG plugins pop-up that uh, extend the support of this library to .NET MAUI with the idea of continue improving it, adding new functionality. At the moment you can find many of the current functionality that probably you know from RG plugins pop up, but in this case, supporting MAUI in all the supported platforms. If you have learned something new or like the content, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new content when it appears. Remember, you can leave your opinion or feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon.